welcome to FACA TV News. Today is Friday, January 18th, 2019. I'm Raven along with the FTV crew. Our first quote of the day is life's most persistent and urgent question is what are you doing for others? This coming Wednesday, January 23rd, the Oak Crest for Scammy basketball game will take place right here at the Oak. Girls varsity is at 4 p.m. and the boys varsity is at 5.30 p.m. The first 50 middle school students receive a free t-shirt and first 200 get a soft pretzel. So come out to the game and support both the school and the teams. Get set for the first celestial event of 2019. The Super Wolf Blood Moon will rise Sunday evening, January 10th. That means a super moon and a blood moon will occur at the same time. The super moon is a full moon occurring at the perigee. The moon's closest point to Earth in its orbit and can appear up to 7% bigger and even more brightly than an average full moon. The first full moon of the year is known as the Wolf Moon and is named after howling wolves. And this month's full moon will also experience a lunar eclipse taking on a reddish orangish tint during transit. The best time to view the Super Wolf Blood Moon undergo the eclipse will be after 9.30 p.m. Sunday, January 20th. It is at this time that the moon begins to pass into the Earth's shadow. The total eclipse will begin at 11.41 p.m. and peak at 12.13 p.m. The total eclipse will be at 12.43 p.m. While the eclipse will already be happening by the same time the moon rises for some residents of Alaska and Hawaii, people in the rest of the country will have a chance to see every stage of the event depending on local weather conditions. If you missed the stage crew meeting yesterday, please see Mr. Clark and Ms. Hiltner. Ms. Carr is beginning to collect submissions for the 2018-2019 issue of Stylus, Ocrest Art and Literary Magazine. Students may submit poetry, prose, short stories, essays, artwork, poetry, and comics, and photography. And anything else they create, there is no minimum or maximum length for writing submissions. Stu Yeah. Students may submit as many items as they want for the magazine. Teachers are also welcome to submit on behalf of for their students. All submissions are due by the beginning of March. Students are encouraged to participate. Submissions should be emailed or shared with Ms. Cart on Google Drive. We began with a quote and we'll conclude with one. Quote, the ultimate measure of a person is not where they stand in moments of comfort and convenience, but where they stand at times of challenge and controversy. Those, these two quotes were by Martin Luther King Jr., an individual who stood up for people's rights and helped spark change in America. We honor him, what he stood for, and ultimately died for. We will see you back on Tuesday, the 22nd, a D-Day. That's all for today. So for myself and everyone here at FTV News, thanks for joining us and have a great three-day weekend.